Hello, my name is Thiago Bruch. I'm a Senior Solution Engineer for Attunity, and today I'm going to demonstrate some of the options regarding the audit trail that you have with the Attunity Enterprise Manager. As you know, the Attunity Enterprise Manager manages multiple replicate servers and multiple users connecting to these replicate servers, creating tasks, uh, changing tasks, starting some tasks. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to demonstrate uh, how you can see this change is happening when you have the audit trail in hands. So for example, right now I'm connected as the administrator as you can see here on top. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to one specific server and change something in a specific task there. So I'm going to go to the tasks here and I'm going to select one of the tasks. Let's say for instance I'm going to use the MySQL to Redshift task. Once I open this task, I'm going to add or remove one specific table here. So let's say, for instance, I go to the table selection. Now that I have, I'm going to remove the country from here. So I no longer want to replicate this particular table. Once I click OK, I'm going to save this change. So again, on my SQL to Redshift, I did this as the administrator. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to switch user. I'm going to connect with a different browser and use the user Ringo. So now I have Ringo connect here. Ringo can no, not, cannot see all the servers. There's a restriction on the permission here, but Ringo can see some of the tasks. So I'm going to go to the tasks here. I'm going to select one specific task that I want to change. Let's say, for instance, I want to change the SQL to EMR. I'm going to double click on the task so it opens the task. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add or remove a specific table from here. So let's go to the table selection. I'm going to select the schema here, I'm going to do a quick search, and I'm going to add the sales order details. Add this, I'm going to click OK. Once I click OK, I'm going to save this task. Now that the task is saved, this is also going to go to the audit trail. Another one that I'm going to do is I'm going to go back with the administrator and I'm going to start one specific task. So let's go and start this one, MySQL to Redshift. I'm going to click on Run so the task is resumed. As soon as I do that, this is saved on the audit trail. Now let's go back to the servers here. Go back to the beginning. What I'm going to do is I'm going to download the audit trail and show it to you. So I'm going to click on the audit trail. I'm going to ask what is the time range that I want to generate this. So it can be 6 hours, 12 hours, last day, or custom. Let's take the audit trail from 6 hours. Once I click on generate, it tells me to download a file. I'm going to open this file directly so we can see the content. So here you have, let's take a look on the last ones. So here we have, at this time, we have the administrator put source tables as a designer admin. And the server was the replicate windows and the task was the MySQL to Redshift. Just below that, we're going to see a different line that talks about the Ringo, which is the different user, putting also source table as a designer, he's not an admin, so here you have designer and admin, here you have designer and designer. You have the server, which is replicate to uh, replicate the C2, and the task was, was SQL to EMR. And the last one is back as the administrator. So now you have the run task as an operator, he's still an admin, and the server that was executed the task was the replicate windows, and the task was the my SQL to Redshift. So here you have the full information in a CSV format that you can uh, open and find out exactly who did what and when and actually where is this coming from. This shows the IP that you are connecting so you know exactly who connect there from where and what operation was done. This is all recorded in the audit trail. Thank you very much.